Nepomnishi struggling to win this theoretically one endgame. He looks disgusted with himself. Yeah. Oh my, I think he realizes it, that he's not going to be in time to convert this one anymore. I think he, he, he needs to go back and look at the technique, as we all do. Very easy to forget it, but amazing, amazing stalemate trick there that Magnus oh pulled off. Oh my gosh. He really has nine lives, Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> yeah. How does he keep doing this? Hopeless yeah. situations. Many of us would have resigned. And, yeah. and it's going to happen now. Two more moves and it just stops. Okay. 50 move rule signals no progress, no captures, no pawn pushes. And it will be a draw. Magnus just needs not to blunder his rook what? on the next oh. move. What happened? Okay, he's a bit worried, but he, he's made the draw. Unbelievable. Does <laughs> it? Unbelievable. What is this drama, Magnus Carlsen? Yeah. Wow, with a smile there. He also is in disbelief. And David, as you said, probably using up one of his nine lives today, surviving that one. And for Jan Pamnishi, it is heartbreaking. What a fantastic game he played. Oh. What? Oh. Whoa. What a oh, check. Unbelievable. And maybe now you cannot take the rook that is stalemate again. Maybe now black wow. can hold long enough to oh uh, make the 50 rule, move rule happen. Wow. That, is, that was an unbelievable check. And the king gets off the back rank oh. and it forces this position and you, 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 you're you going to get to 50. How does he do it? He's just How a magician. And they reach the 40 move mark. Another 10 moves. If Magnus gets through, yeah. then it ends in a draw. Automatically, the game stops. Yeah. Wow, one of the world's Very best well. players, Jan Nepomnishi, struggling to win this theoretically one endgame. He looks disgusted with himself. Yeah. Oh my, I think he realizes it, that he's not going to be in time yeah. to convert this one anymore. I think he, he, he needs to go back and look at the technique, as we all do. Very easy to forget it, but amazing, amazing stalemate trick there that Magnus oh pulled off. Oh my gosh. He really has nine lives, Magnus Carlsen. <laughs> yeah. How does he keep doing this? Hopeless yeah. situations. Many of us would have resigned. Yeah, when he played Bishop C3, I sort of had the feeling that this move was a little bit wrong. Uh, and I was, the thing is, I was fairly happy with Knight E3. That's why I didn't really look too much further. And it was only like, a little bit after I'd made the move, when he was thinking that I realized what I could have done. Um, I, I don't know like how it came to me. It just suddenly, I just suddenly realized that Queen G5 would have <laughs> would have mated him. So yeah, that was um, that was in, insane. Always looks for always look for captures and checks, kids. <laughs> Il y a quoi sur Cavalier A4 Ouais, Cavalier A4, joli coup. Euh, je pense sur Cavalier A4, il y a Dame prend 1. Ça paraît intéressant. Roi H2, Dame prend F6, ouais. Ça, ça a l'air vraiment fort. Très, très belle variante. Avec Cavalier A4, Dame prend 1 et, et euh, Roi H2, Dame prend F6. Bah ouais, ça, vient, ça arrive sur échec sur Cavalier A4. C'est ça qui est beau sur cette ligne. Ouais, mais... Cavalier A4, c'est vrai que c'est un joli coup après. Hein. Très, très joli coup. You know, uh, was a learning experience, you know, dealing with all that pressure and competing under all that pressure. But, but again, to be clear, on the specific allegation, have you ever used anal beads <laughs> while playing chess? <laughs> oh. Not a question I ever thought I'd ask a guest. Oh my time. God, this is... <laughs> This is just too good. This is seriously like out of this world insane. Oh. Oh. Did it hit? Hola. Proszę, nie podstaw widełek jakichś losowych. Naprawdę. Nie zrób mi tego. get to that uh, a2 pawn i still think we're going to see some kind of rank defense and rank checks uh, by white at the critical moment he's got to keep pressure on that a3 pawn just to make sure that blacks from rook the side oh! no! that is we call it the vancura position it's well-known endgame theory tanya you called it and, and look at Jan. reaction this, this was elementary right you've got to make sure that black's rook remains stuck on that a line def defending the a3 pawn 
now Black's Rook is out of the way. Uh, the pawn is no longer uh, kind of stifled and the pawn is just going to come down. Black's King is going to go across, kick away the White Rook and game over. White's King is just too far away. It's off in Siberia somewhere, not able to participate in the defence. David, how do you explain that? A player like Jan, one of the best players in the world with three minutes on the clock. It's hard, just complacency. Um, it's just not sensing the moment, the critical moment. And like you said, Tanya, that is endgame theory. That's endgame 101. You grip it, you, you tip, you grip, mix, and you lick. Kind of nearly rhymed, but it didn't. <laughs> ah, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna come back to this. I'm sorry, my game just started. Oh god, I can't. I can't take this seriously. Oh, I'm trying. Wow. Là, c'est plus une truite qu'un saumon, en fait. Les truites, je pense, ça fait ça. Non? It's GG. All right, got the win. Three out of three. Big win. Let's keep moving on. Okay, let's watch Magnus's game, of course, when it starts. Thank you, Suzanne, for the five gifted. Thanks so much to Suzanne. Appreciate it. All right, so okay, let's go back. Let's see the games in progress. Let's watch Magnus's game. Let me change the scene, of course. Okay, Magnus is apparently a little bit worse against Elon Schneider, but Magnus is up on time. His opponent's got five seconds. He put out a public statement that he he will play. Right, but there's me. no date, right? So, well, when it, when we are matched in a tournament, uh, which which is, is inevitable, uh, 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 we will play. And will you allow yourself to be strip searched just to rule out any rumors? Whoa! Uh, there there there's a touch again. Jeez. Find wow. that question to be just you know I, I can't take you seriously when you ask those questions, Pierce. I'm sorry, because you're you're entertaining. Uh, 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 honestly, an allegation that should should not even be taken seriously because it's it's purely you know for you know for you to get media attention when this when this is it's not even a serious <laughs> thing. How can how can you as a reporter take that allegation seriously at all? Well, I mean, listen, Elon Musk. Uh, who no, but owns... I know. Do you genuinely believe that? No, but do you do you, uh, you know, do you actually I, believe that that, I, that is the case? I don't know. <laughs> could you could you even I fathom don't know. A world I don't know. Where, I know you're is... capable of cheating because you've admitted it. I don't know how far you go. Mm. You cheated twice in a four-year well, I've period. never cheated in an over the you know, Call of Duty. And you... It was the similar, similar manner. Call, Call of Duty? First. I mean, if, if you, like, cheat with aim assist or some of these other things in Call of Duty, you get banned from Call of Duty. What is he even talking about? Like, you get banned. If you, if you, get, if you, if you get caught cheating in COD, you, you get banned. Like, it, it, it's, this is not exactly, like, rocket science. That's one you can put down to being a 12-year-old kid, all right? Make him...